Attention duelists, my hair tells me it's time for another video. Hey there Magus Academy students, this is your headmaster professor Magus, and welcome to Magus and the day if I can talk today. <laughs> welcome to Academy Advisory, a special discussion series where I sit down and talk about video games, movies, and other things. Today's topic is about the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Originally was ran by Upper Deck Entertainment, then 2004 it was taken over by Konami. Um, which I don't know why, but eh, whatever. Um, anyway, today's discussion video is actually about something really awesome. So, um, the link that I'm going to be sharing in the description below, um, I asked my friend Eric to help me find this stuff, you know, it's on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia page, I couldn't find it for, for Squat for some reason, but, um, he found it, so Eric, thank you very, very much for helping me out with this. Um, so, what are we here for today? We're actually here for dishwashers. We're here for the, um, a new series that is being released on November 13th of this year. It's going to be called King of Games Yu-Gi's Legendary Decks. Now, what is this King of Games Legendary Yu-Gi's Legendary Decks? Basically, they are going to be consistent, a consistency of three uh, different decks that was used by Yu-Gi Moto in, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. There's one deck used in the Duelist Kingdom, there's one used in Battle City, and then I think the last one is during the Millennium Arc or whatever. It, I know that that deck, Yugi's deck, wasn't. Yugi's deck isn't going to be used from uh, the Orikalko saga, but I think it's towards like the end of the series. I think that's the third deck. So, um,. It is TCG exclusive for those who play the OCG, I am sorry. Maybe, maybe Konami of Japan might work on doing something similar to that. I am not completely sure. Um, I want to do more research into that. So let's go ahead and take a look. So, each set will contain a 41 card deck used by you in the first season of the original series, including his initial duel with Kaiba in Adventures in Duel's Kingdom. The second one, like I said, is used in Battle City, the story arc, so potentially Red-Eyes Black Dragon may be in the second deck, so. Um, but we all know for sure that for the first time ever, we are going to be getting Arcana's Dark Magician, which is the Red Dark Magician for the Evil Dark Magician. So, there we go. And then the last one is actually used when he battled the Pharaoh in the final duel of the original series, which is focused on the gadgets. And there's also, like, toy-based monster cards and other stuff. And then there's also the Silent Level series cards in there, so... I think the Silent series are, is a pretty good um, archetype. But um, I haven't seen it much competitive play, but uh, we'll see what happens. And on top of that, we're going to be getting three new secret rare cards. Electromagnetic Turtle, Dark Re Renewal, and Black Illusion. In the Wikia page, the cards are linked in the uh, King of Games link, so you can, I can go ahead and take a look for yourselves. And then there are three ultra-rare non-playable historical cards. Which are used, which were used in Duelist Kingdom in order for the Duelist to get into the uh, Duelist Kingdom, which was basically used as your tickets. Which is Glory of the King's Hand, Set Sail for the Kingdom, and Duelist Kingdom. So, pretty cool little collection thing you can put on your wall or put in your binder. So, little nice things that Konami's doing. Um, even though we're kind of PO'd with them right now, but I'm not going to be discussing that. Anyway, and then we're going to have the three unplayable Egyptian God cards, Slifer, Obelisk, and Raw. So, that's going to be awesome, another collection thing. And then we have one ultra rare Yugi token card. So, that is all the information that I have. I don't know what the deck list is going to be. Once I know, then I will probably be making another discussion video. So, in the description below, in the description below, let me know in the 
though, in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think. So, if you guys did enjoy today's video, leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave comments in the comment section below. Let's start a discussion, let's get some started going. And if you guys are new to my uh, channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Magus Academy. And with that being said, this is your headmaster, Professor Magus, signing off, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.